Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we are going to have a look at the ultimate pipe gun. I have wanted this combination of effects on a pipe gun for a very long time and thanks to a generous gift, I finally got my hands on one. So thank you again for that. We have a quad with faster fire rate and reduced AP cost. I have a modify with a tweaked automatic receiver for extra critical hit damage, a line long barrel, a line grip, piercing magazine because we are getting 20% armor penetration without affecting the AP cost, and a reflex sight to reduce AP cost as well, and a suppressor for sneak attacks. And you can see the AP cost is a ridiculous two, so we could stay in VATS for pretty much ever. Now, since this is a uh, automatic pistol, we will be using the Gorilla Perks. I don't have max rank on all of them because agility is very crowded. And because we are using critical hits, I have critical savvy and better criticals. I also have follow through, which increases uh, sneak attack damage as well. I have eagle eyes, which increases critical damage. And we also have blight suit for increased critical damage. All right, here we go. Let's see, I should be able to stay hidden here. We don't do a ton of damage. I mean, it is a, it is still a pipe gun at the end of the day and Vats is not being cooperative, but I love the sound of this and look how fast that is. <laughs> We're obviously not doing a lot of damage, but look how quickly the, uh, those shots just trigger, trigger, trigger. But uh, yeah, we'll still use, <laughs> it's a good thing 30, 38 ammo is pretty cheap, but you can see we're hidden. We're not even in caution. We are completely hidden. So uh, yeah, uh, suppressed weapons are the way to go. And that thing, uh, yeah, made quick work. Used a lot of ammo. This is not an ammo efficient weapon by any stretch of the imagination. There is, oh, there's a Myrler King somewhere. Oh, we have all the stupid uh, ankle biters. We're in caution, but uh, yeah, we're still uh, doing really well. Now this may not be the highest damage weapon, but in terms of fun, I don't know if there's anything in the game that I find as much fun as a nice pipe gun, especially this one. This thing is, I've only had it a day. So as I'm recording this, I got it, uh, I got it yesterday. I've used it a little bit and I love it. Uh, let's see, we can shoot him through the window. I think the head is a good spot on a robo brain because that is where the brain is. Nice quick work of them. But uh, another nice thing about the piercing receiver, we get the 20% armor penetration, but we also get, fa I think it's 15% faster reloads. So it's a kind of a, a double bonus. Definitely better than say a quick or a swift magazine, something like that because, uh, because of the armor penetration. Was that thing glowing red? It might've been glowing red and I didn't notice. Uh, there may be, oh, yep. We got a cultist here somewhere. Fusion core is not a problem. <laughs> This one of those things is, it's definitely not ammo efficient. You, uh, you will use a lot of ammo just because the base damage is so low, but who cares? Uh, must be in here somewhere. Get the, uh, get that thruster. Yeah, 38 ammo is so cheap. Um, you could probably find people to give it to you because not a lot of people run pipe guns. So uh, 38 ammo is really cheap. It's very plentiful and yeah, there's probably lots of people that have it just sitting in their stash, not knowing what to do with it. So you might even be able to get some for free if you know some people. Oh, there's the cultist. Take his head off. And down he goes. Now, obviously with a pipe gun, you are probably going to be really uh, frustrated if you're not doing critical hits because criticals will do the bulk of the work. These just don't have a high base damage. But with critical hits, you can pretty much tackle, well, not pretty much. You can tackle anything. You could do a, you could solo a boss with one of these. It uh, does take a little bit of patience and maybe some buffs, but you can do a boss with one of these weapons and definitely in an event, you have no trouble. Nice thing about this, so I did an eviction notice with this yesterday and uh, I was killing stuff okay, even in, even when I wasn't hidden, but because of the quadruple ammo capacity and the high fire rate, uh, just for tagging purposes, it actually worked really well, even if I wasn't, uh, okay. Vat's doing its usual Vat's thing. And uh, he's shooting at me, he knows where I am. I still don't know where this, oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Such a brave super mutant to hide from me. Oh, he's legendary too. And there's the other one, and uh, there's another something, oh, right here. <laughs> and I'm hidden again. Now it's time to take down a dragon and his minions. Uh, let's see, or her minions, I never check. Uh, there we go. <laughs> my, as I've said many times, my third person manual aiming is terrible. But uh, yeah, we should, uh, if we can stay hidden, we'll have no trouble dealing with everything here. Oh, something's, okay. Well, something's, even though I'm in caution, so in theory they shouldn't see me, somebody keeps nailing me, no problem. So, gotta love the logic there. There's that, and, God, get closer, damn it. And someone's lobbing grenades at me. The reloads are nice and snappy. Why are you landing way over there? There's obviously something else they're fighting. And, okay, well. Someone keeps shooting at me, so let's deal with that first. 
and lag doing its thing, so no damage was being taken. So that's never frustrating at all. There's the Scorch Beast over there. Hopefully it... Uh, yeah, it says I'm in caution, but it's doing damage like I'm actually in danger. Okay, what is... There we go. <laughs> okay, at least I'm getting score challenges. Okay, I don't know what we're fighting over here, but uh, more than one thing once we get here. Probably something dumb like a mole rat or Meyer Lurks or... Is it Meyer Lurks? Wow, this has turned into a war, but uh, our little pipe gun is definitely up to the task. Okay, I swear there was something else, but uh, let's just take care of this guy. This is the reason we came. You can see those damage numbers. Just the the speed of the damage numbers is uh, fast and furious. And there we go. And there you have it. A quick look at what may now be my new favorite gun. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below. And I hope you join me in the next one. Thank you very much.